What's going on, guys? It's 6.16 in the morning and the roads are full already. Combustor at say 12 kRPM. And on this bike, 
till 11k it can pull i guess but after that it dies down and also the it's a known fact that the fi systems always have better top end power and hence better top speed even the fi version of the 204b watch it gives at least plus 5 km hit on the top speed man and that's simply because the better fuel utilization better combustion better power output much higher the rpm reach all right the third benefit of the fi system over carbs is much much better performance tuning output man hell even if you don't tune you know if you just swap in a free flowing exhaust a better exhaust on fi bike fi bike due to the better air flow or you can just put a better filter on an fi bike due to the more air flow the o2 sensor will sense that air flow and it will increase the fuel output accordingly and that will result in better performance so for performance tuning efi is it man for cars even if you increase the air flow even if you change the exhaust even if you tune the bridge without rejetting that is without actually changing the parts of the carburetor there is no performance benefit So yeah, the fourth benefit of the fire systems is the lack of cold start problems, man. Our fire system. Calculate the engine tank and just inject the right amount of fuel in your chamber, and you get a nice start. But with carbs, without that air flow, without the engine already warmed and going pretty good, there is not enough suction to pull enough fuel to start a good combustion. So we have choke for that. But some people, you know, nag and pester about that all day, man. Oh, I need an FI. I can't use Joe. I have to lean down. I have to push it, man. Push it. Hey, hey. Push it, you know.
the second benefit which is the most important benefit in my books is how robust and simple the system is even without a battery even without a self you know you need fuel pump pumping always for a fire system you need an self you need a good battery always charged battery for if i would even work you don't need any of that with a car you can simply thakka start it anywhere any road mechanic any mechanic anywhere in india can repair a car uh -uh, it's not possible with fi systems see just how simple and how robust and how reliable a car is man i mean you can go anywhere in the world on a car by without a concern man you can self repair it you can replace it any mechanic anywhere in the world can replace it especially in a underdeveloped country like india oh shit i call india boa hashtag kill jet reaper another benefit of a car over efi is that you can be really stingy with the fuel you know with an efi system you always need a certain amount of fuel in your tank to even operate the pump won't operate or the pump will go kaput it will be damaged if the fuel really reaches the you get a 100 ml mark or empty tank mark you can say the robustness the reliability the ruggedness of a car is simply hard to beat man one big point i would like to mention if your bike isn't a multi cylinder setup i mean for multi cylinder engines like cars or even in bikes v4 v twins in line triple anything those really need the fi system man they need the precise direct throttle injection direct fuel injection in their chambers but for single cylinder bikes like these carb is well enough man carb is good enough i mean for guys who say that carbs can't make power in 1998 honda cbx 1100 sx made 135 bhps man and that's a lot in 1998 dang so anyway yeah for simple bikes the low revving ones single cylinder ones in a country like india they don't need five men they're good cars you know 